Now in this section, let's look into some of the real world applications or real world examples of our algorithms that is our supervised unsupervised algorithm. So let's have a look into this. Supervised learning, let's just point things up. It is like learning with a teacher as I've already given an example about that. Training data set is like the teacher where we have labels. Training data set is used to train the machine. That's about supervised learning. There are two things, classification and regression. Now let's look into some of the real world applications of classification. Classification is trained to classify something into some class as we have seen of cats and dog. If you could recall cats and dogs, those was a classifier. Now one of the real world application will be checking whether a patient has disease or not. So you can check out if a person has cancer. Looking out the x-ray of his chest, you can just find out that this guy might have cancer or not. So that's one of the application. Then you can check one of the famous applications of machine learning is checking whether a mail, checking whether a mail is spam or not. So you might receive a lot of mails uh, during your day to day life as most of them will be sort of spam some of, of social media links or something. So a machine learning algorithm that is a classification type supervised learning algorithm will tell you that it is an spam or not. Then we have regression. Regression is trained to predict some values like price, weight or height. If you could recall the housing price problem. So what we had was we had a bunch of data points and we had a label over here. So these were all the features of the house and this was the price of the house. From the features, we can train our model to predict out the labels of it. We can also predict out stock market. If you are a fan of stock market, then analysis on stock market will help you out. Now, just remember that predicting stock market is not quite possible, but you can just predict out the trends in it. So that was all about supervised learning. Let's look into unsupervised learning. It is like learning without a teacher. Unsupervised learning is like learning without a teacher. Machine learns through observation and find structures or patterns in our data. That helps us in clustering and association. Clustering is a problem where you want to discover an inherent grouping in the data. If you could just uh, quite remember the churn prediction problem that I quite told you or the problem where I have mentioned that there are two kinds of people who give positive and negative replies. So we can just cluster those people. Association is something where we work with when we have a large data set, we have many features. Such people, for example, uh, people who want to buy X also tends to buy Y. So people who might buy shoes of worth 3000 of Puma might be also interested in buying Nike. So that's about clustering and association. Now let's have a quick exercise where you have to analyze which is an supervised and which is an unsupervised learning algorithm. Housing prices. Can you guess what kind of algorithm we use over, over here? Then a cat dog classifier. Then what's the weather today? Then who are the unhappy customers? Finding customer segments, audience segmentation, pattern recognition, grouping images. Can, can you tell me what kind of algorithms these use? Let me clarify all of these for you. These are supervised and these are unsupervised. So this will be a homework for you where you have to find out what kind of algorithm a regression or classification algorithm is used. Over here, you have to find out association or clustering has been used. That's it for this video. Let's catch up in our next video where we will learn about how to divide your data set.